I'm really excited because we've got a new kit going up for sale on our Working Ink shop and you are going to love it if you're a Harry Potter fan like me. It is Make and Copper Plate a Magic Wand Kit. There's virtually everything you need in this kit to make the wand from start to finish and you can become a master wand maker just like me and I've even acquired some suitable wand wood. So what you're going to need is a one and a half volt battery and a tall slim container to put your copper sulfate solution. Now I have used deionized water but it's not absolutely necessary. If you want to use a multimeter to make sure the current is going through then you can because they're quite cheap at the hardware stores but I didn't bother and mine worked out okay. You just need to make sure that there is a good contact between the copper wire and the paint and it will work. Now of course I think this is the perfect kit to buy for a budding scientist or a Harry Potter fan or somebody who's never done copper plating before because it doesn't have to be perfect. Of course becoming a master wand maker does take a lot of practice and as you can see I have been practicing. So I'm going to run through the kit and show you exactly how to use it to make your own wand. The first thing you're going to do is take your wand wood and the string and there are two pots of glue in here and you can wind the string around the end of the wand and um, glue it down and then once you've finished you can coat it completely in the glue and leave it to dry overnight so it looks like this one this is just like blue peter and then once that's dry you can get your um, conductive ink and paint a coat onto the handle and then leave it to dry under a hair dryer or something for about 15 minutes and then buff it up using a tissue and then you can put on a second coat and do exactly the same thing so that it looks like this one and then once the second coat of ink has properly dried you can get the copper wire and wind it round the base of the handle and you can either wind it round where you've already painted some ink or just beneath it because the copper won't plate on the bit where you've wound it round. So I think it looks nicer if you paint it, um, use the paint to paint over the connection there to get a good connection between the copper wire and the ink. So now you're all ready to make up your copper sulfate solution. Of course you must think of health and safety and wear your gloves which are provided. So you just need to take the copper sulfate and the two saccharin tablets and put it into 250 millilitres of water and then you can bung it in the microwave to dissolve for about 30 seconds to a minute. Right so now we're ready to connect it all up so you need to get your wires which are in the kit and the copper strip. Now it's quite a thick and chunky piece of copper so I put mine through a mangle and um, bent over the edge because I'm a bit clumsy and I wanted to sit it on the edge of the pot like that and then connect up uh, one of the wires to the copper strip. All right, let's connect the wand. Oh, that looks good. Oh. <laughs> put the right end in. So the copper is going to be connected to the positive side and the wand is going to be connected to the negative side. I've remembered to point out that you must keep the wand away from the copper strip otherwise it will short circuit and it might be a good idea to agitate it now and again to get the irons moving. I only did that maybe three times in the 30 hours it took to completely coat the wand so I wouldn't worry too much. Well I'm quite pleased with this because less than five minutes later and the copper has already started to deposit onto the handle of the wand. If after half an hour and you notice that yours still hasn't got any copper whatsoever traveling down the handle of the wand 
then I suggest you undo the copper wire, dry off the whole thing, and then rewind it round and paint a tiny bit of the ink over and dry it really well and start again. But all mine have worked, so I must have been doing something right. Right, let's find one I did earlier. Now it's taken about 30 hours to get a coating just like this, and I've left this one so it has oxidized. But what you can do if you want it nice and shiny, like this one, you can dry it off straight away and um, buff it up using the abrasive paper included and make it as shiny as you can. But don't be too aggressive because otherwise you'll take off some of the copper plating, which doesn't matter too much because it is meant to be a very unique looking wand and it all adds to the character. So once you've varnished it, your wand will be complete. If this instructional video has been as clear as mud, you can email me mandy at fwg.co.uk and I can answer your questions on copper plating, our water resistant conductive ink, or about Harry Potter wands. All this is gonna cost you much less than a galleon. So get down to Gringotts, get into your vault and get out some silver sickles. Now I've just decided the first person to buy one We'll have one of these ones that I finished here. Maybe this one. Yes. I think we'll take one last look at this one to see how it's getting on. It's been on for about an hour. You'll find that when you first start copper plating, it seems to go quite quickly for the first hour and then it seems to take forever for the rest of it. It took about 30 hours last time, but we'll leave that one in. So that's it. Thank you very much for watching.